What's going on, everybody? Livio here at this week's pitch meeting. I'm standing here with our featured artist of the week, Miss Megan Patrick. How are you? I'm great. Happy to be here. Well, I'm so glad to see you here, and you killed your set. And I just learned that you haven't performed any any of those songs live yet. No, they're all completely new, so I was excited. I mean, I was like, if there's ever a band to try these out new for the first time with a full band, this is the band to do it because they're incredible. So it was awesome. You seemed really in your element, and I want to talk about the song My Left Hand and just what it means to you with, like, personally and everything and just what, why you chose that song to sing solo. Um, so I wrote this song, uh, so my boyfriend and I just got engaged, so now fiancé. Show the ring. Thank you, show the ring. <laughs> um, and I've just, like, I've always found it really hard to write love songs. They kind of always just felt super cheesy or, like, maybe want to, like, throw up in my mouth a little bit. Um, and then, but, you know, that moment when, like, I mean, that's, like, a big deal when a man gets down on one knee yeah. and offers you a ring and says, hey, I'm here forever. That just really resonated with me, and so I wrote a song about what that meant to me. It's called My Left Hand, and then I posted, like, a little clip of it on TikTok, which I just, like, just to share it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, TikTok is TikTok, but... It did, it did kind of blow up and become a thing, and it just really resonated with a lot of other women and men, um, and a lot of women being like, oh my gosh, I want this for my wedding song, can you please release this? So uh, we went to the studio and cut it, and we're getting ready to put it out really soon, um, so I just wanted to try it out on the audience tonight. Well, it was wonderful, um, and congratulations on your Canadian tour as well, Thank being you. able to play where you're from. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, we've been rescheduling, this is like the last three days of my headlining tour that we started in 2020, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've been rescheduling these dates for the last two years, was starting to wonder if they were ever going to happen, um, they finally happened, it was absolutely incredible, I mean, I've been lucky to stay relatively busy playing shows and touring in the U.S., but, um, I was born and raised in Canada, that's where I started my career, and so it was it was really, really amazing and really rewarding to be able to go back home and, and see my Canadian fans again. It was awesome. For sure, and reconnect with them and everything. Can you talk about songwriting during the pandemic? Because I know that's something that's a huge part of your story and just how that shifted your creativity uh, in a way that you didn't expect. Yeah, um, I mean, as much as the pandemic was, like, mostly terrible, <laughs> um, yeah. I do feel like there was a silver lining there for creativity um, because generally my schedule was, was super packed with touring. Yeah. And so writing and being creative was like, I kind of fit it in where I could. Whereas yeah. when the pandemic happened, all of a sudden I was writing, you know, five days a week, sometimes more than once. And I had all of this time to just really like hone in on my creativity and really work on just songwriting and not be on the road, not be distracted by anything else. And I think that, I think that it brought out like a whole other level of creativity and a whole other level of authenticity yeah. because, you know, as opposed to coming off the road and being like, okay, I've got X amount of time to write these songs, go into the studio, cut them, make a record. Now, all of a sudden I was faced with infinite time mm -hmm. to just like go and write and be creative. And I think that forced me to step outside of the box a little bit and, and try some different things. And and really push the limits of my creativity, and I think that resulted in me writing some of the best songs I've written. So as much as the pandemic sucked, I do feel that there was a strong silver lining on the creative side. Exactly, and you're back to touring, you're back to playing shows. Um, one last question for you. How has this time um, been so fulfilling for you to, to reconnect with your band? It seems like from your social posts, that's a huge part of your family in a way. Yes. Um, <sighs> I mean, I love my job. I love every part of what I do, but there's nothing I love more than being on the road and playing shows and touring. And um, my band has always been like family to me. I treat them like family. We're, we're super tight. Um, and I think that that's quintessential to having the energy that I want in my live show. These are not just hired guns. These are not just guys that I just like pulled on stage because they can play. These are guys that are my friends and that genuinely love my music the way that I love it and they're going to deliver with the same passion that I'm trying to deliver with and that's always been incredibly important to me when it comes to my live show. I take a lot of pride in my live show and it's always going to be the most important thing because it is that connection with the fans and the fans need to always come first so it was really good to be back with my band again 
fans have a lot to look forward to this new music and your future shows. Congratulations on everything. Thank and thanks you. for coming to Pitch Meeting, Pitch Meeting and being our featured artist. My pleasure. Thank Absolutely. you for having me. Hugs. <laughs> yeah. See you guys later. <laughs>